Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Sunday night. It's May the 10th, Mother's Day. I hope that many of you got to spend Mother's Day with your children or your mother. <laughs> However, your age falls. <laughs> and uh, it's 7.22 p.m. right now. Now, I spent some time today watching a couple of really good uh, videos that I want to share with you. And they are both from Israeli News Live, but they don't feature Steve. Uh, they feature his wife, Yana, which it looks like Jana. And this guest, she has started this new thing where she's inviting a different uh, woman of renown to interview so it'll be just the two ladies uh doing this um interview show uh from the sounds of it she's going to try to have someone every night well anyway i wanted you to hear the tiny a little bit of this second one i've watched now this one is a 50 minute one and the first one was a one hour one. But they're both, I promise you, they are worth your time to know exactly who is behind the New World Order and who is involved in it and things that are going to happen. So without any further explanation let me let you listen to a couple of minutes of this one called um faith response versus a fear response okay so let me click play and let you listen go ahead do you have well you know that's right oh i certainly do if you know that H.R. 6666 Bill. Oh, yeah. These Satanists of the New World Order are always doing things in conjunction with Satanic calendar dates. Did you know that May 1st is when they presented that? H.R. 666. May 1st is a major Satanist communist celebration day. It is on the Satanic calendar, Beltane, a uh, major time of human sacrifice and Satanic rituals. Then you have... Friday the 13th in March, March 13th, Friday the 13th, a very highly occultic number, that medical martial law was declared. The desire of every Satanist and CIA and New World Order agenda person was martial law, national emergency, declared, and by golly, it happened on their planned Satanic calendar date. You have to understand how tightly interwoven with the Satanists and their agenda all of this is. Absolutely. But again, we have power and authority. Let me tell you, Jenna, and this is in my report, Satanism in America Today. I've been publishing them, republishing them on my website. But I moved in with a young lady targeted for human sacrifice by Satanists in a very pagan city of Asheville, North Carolina. And they called her one day on the phone and said, oh, we're going to break into your home. We're going to cut off your body parts, eat you alive. They told her horrible things. She collapsed on the floor screaming. But I said, wait a minute. God has a better plan for your life, and we are going to battle these murders with the sword of the Spirit and the blood of the Lamb. And when they tried their hardest to break into her home, cutting off our phone communications with the police, cutting off electricity, and ready to move in for the kill, I took my Bible walking up and down the length of her trailer, pleading the blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and saying, no, you don't, Satan, you'll never get her. And lo and behold, with all the power of a very powerful Satanist covenant in Asheville, North Carolina, they did not get her. They did not get me. And the truth is, the ex, the ex-girlfriend of the head of that coven came to my friend later and said, Honey, keep pleading the blood of Jesus. She had to flee from this leader because he wanted to sacrifice the baby she had given birth to. So she had to flee to a safe house where my friend met her at the same safe house for battered women. She said, honey, keep pleading the blood of Jesus. He'd come home so angry night after night after trying to break into your trailer and say, darn it, I could not get through the blood of Jesus Christ. We have more power and authority than what you know, friends. And let me tell you, 
Amen. We, it behooves us as Christians. We had better stand up against these plans of the New World Order. I found out through statistics, through FBI sources and former high-level Satanists, that up to one million innocent victims perish annually in America alone on the Satanic altars across America and Canada and its effect. And former Satanists have told me the horror of what they do to innocent Christians and victims on Satanic altars. America's soil is stained with the blood of her unknown martyrs of Christians, children and adults alike, abducted because they were Christians and were tempted to deny Christ and join the Satanists. And when they would not, they were tortured to death right in this country. And I have documented this, working with police, former Satanists, all kinds of people. Church, you need to wake up and understand the day and hour of what we are living mm. in and what is going on and what they plan to do to you if you do not stand now in the power and authority that Christ is. Okay, I'll go ahead and stop it there. See, it's what she's talking about is some very scary stuff, which is why it's titled Faith Response versus a Fear Response. Now, see that young lady she'd moved in with. In the beginning, you find out who this woman is and her credentials. They're way up there. God has been pulling people out of Satanism, out of Washington, D.C., out of all kind of areas and places so that they can testify to us today what exactly is going on. So you think the COVID thing was not planned not a, a conspiracy to get the new world order and martial law going you better think again i pray you'll listen to this if you still don't know what's going on and you don't believe it and uh the politicians are not who you think they are okay now on this other one it is called facts that matter it was put up may the 8th this other one was put up may the 9th okay so the one on may the 8th facts that matter colon interview okay this lady is uh i've seen her before yeah dr sherry tenpenny and you've probably heard of her and she's got a website https you know, vaxter.com, V-A-X-X-T-E-R. Now I'll let you just hear a few minutes of this one. Ziana Benoun from Israeli Nuzlaya. I have a very special friend today loud. here, our okay. guest, Dr. Sherry Tenpenny. We have met with Dr. Online in 2017, and we have talked uh, about uh, the various effects of vaccines, so you might... Many of you may remember her from that time, but I have invited her back to talk to us about this coronavirus pandemic. Hello, Dr. Sherry, how are you doing today? And thank you for coming. You're welcome. Thanks for having me on again. It's nice to see you again. Nice to see you as well. Uh, I would like to first read a little bit about Dr. Sherry from her website. She's a doctor, speaker, educator, and a consultant. Uh, Dr. Sherry is an osteopathic medical doctor, board certified in three medical specialties, widely regarded as the most knowledgeable and outspoken physician on the adverse impact that vaccines can have on health. Dr. Tenpenny has been a guest on hundreds of radio and national television programs, including Dr. Ozzy Show and the Today Show Australia. She has lectured at Cleveland State University and Case Western Reserve Medical School and has been a speaker at conventions both nationally and internationally as a recognized expert on a wide range of topics within the field of integrative medicine, including breast health, breast thermography, women's hormones, medical uses of iodine, and the adverse effects vaccines have on health. Well, Dr. Sherry, we would like to have your view on this coronavirus pandemic. And of course, um, the media is still kind of talking about this as this is still our reality, our new normal social distancing masks. And uh, it's going to get worse, according to Dr. Fauci, in October, November. That will be second wave. That will be even worse. Mm -hmm. uh, let's just talk at first about this 
coronavirus dangers. How dangerous is coronavirus, Dr. Sherry? Well, I think that we have to define coronavirus, you know, because... So she gets into talking about exactly what this coronavirus is. And do you remember, uh, and this makes me just laugh, I went outside about a couple of weeks ago, and there was a group of visitors sitting at one of the tables out by our patio, and they had their dog with them. And I didn't have a mask on. And she pulled that dog away from me so fast. And she said, didn't you hear some other animals just been diagnosed with the coronavirus? They can get it too. And I was like, <laughs> you got to be kidding. I didn't say it exactly to her face. It was after I got by. I was like, you got to be kidding me. That woman thought I was going to give her dog coronavirus because I wasn't wearing a mask. See, they got people so afraid. They don't even really, they don't even know what they're afraid of. Well, this woman's going to tell you just how benign the coronavirus is. It's not saying that in people with an immune compromised body, it is not making them sick. And there's so many people that are dying of so many other things that are not, they might have been exposed to coronavirus. So when they were questioned, they said, yes, I might have been exposed to coronavirus, even though they didn't have symptoms of it, but then they had something else and they died. That was put down on their death certificate. So they totally inflated the numbers. And I'm sure there were some people that got it. And for whatever reason, they suffered and they died with it. I'm not saying nobody did but it was way overinflated and I got my new bag today a tote bag I had printed up that said I survived the COVID planned demic the new world order is here and then I put read revelation uh, hold on a second oh Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, this cute little baby dog was laying right where my foot landed. And, oh, scared him to death. Let me show. I got to show him something. Hold on a minute. This just came to my mind to show you. I haven't bought anything from Vista Print in a long, long time. But they had these on sale. I think they were 25% off. And these people walked by me today and read it. They were employees. And they just saw that I survived the COVID-19 and just kept going and laughed. Like, how does she know? It's not over yet. And showing their ignorance. And didn't read it all. I told him to read Revelation chapters 16 and 17 is what's on there. Because that's what talks about the mark of the beast. Because this is all going to come about with that vaccine they're going to make mandatory. And then you get the digital... Uh, instead of a piece of paper, it's something they will inject that will be scanned so you can go back to work to prove you were tested and cleared and all of this stuff. And uh, looky there, you see yourself in there. Yeah, say hi, everybody. Hello. Yep, that's you. That's you, Jasper, little buddy. 
calm buddy more than Jasper. So he's kind of Jasper, a.k.a. little buddy. <laughs> but he is so good. We've had him one week now. And now he's going on pee pads all the time and walking on a leash. Yes, he did so good today. Still nothing outside. He doesn't know what to do on the grass. <laughs> We're working on it. I think he's come a long way in a week. Anyway, back to the news. I'm going to end this here. Put the links in the description box. Again, for anyone that cannot see the description box, the channel is Israeli News Live. And it's three separate words. Both interviews are on that channel with Yana interviewing these two women. One is called Facts That Matter, colon, Interview. And the other is called Faith Response v. Fear Response. Okay? I plead the blood of Jesus over these two very, very important videos that I hope you'll make time to watch. Especially if you're not sure about what's going on. Is it true? Is it not true? If these ladies' credentials do not prove to you that they ought to know what they're talking about, then I don't know what to tell you. You know, person of their caliber, and, um, anyway, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the internet connection over myself and my computer, and over each and every one of you, your devices, your internet connections, and with that, I'll say bye for now. I will talk to you later.